Bon voyage! Happy summer! Oh my goodness! So, yeah. Um, right, right, start, start, start. So, go on, Dain. Welcome to my podcast called The Project Pile because I have projects and they are in piles and I keep adding to them because self control, what's that? For? Somewhere else doesn't exist here. But, um, yeah, anyway, so my name is Gunnhildu. I'm in Iceland, I live in Iceland, and yeah, this is my po podcast. And it's about knitting, it's about crocheting, about yarn. Um, I talk about what I learned about fibers when I do learn about them. I talk about what I'm working on, both knitting and crocheting. Um, what I finished, when I do finish things, and what I am thinking about making because that's there's always a lot to do. That was my dress. Um, there's always so many interesting things that you find on the internet and just, or you know, watching people walk around, see what they're wearing. Um, when you're having a conversation with people, you're like, oh yeah, I'm, I'm doing this. And that person says, um, you know, they tell you about what they are doing. And you're like, I want to do that. Um, so yeah. <sighs> Listen, summer has arrived in Iceland and I don't know how quite to react. I'm like, I have to tell you, so yesterday, I'm filming this Sunday, it is the, excuse me, 27th of June, right, um, it's actually quite pleasant weather today, it's like plus 15, 16, 17, something like that, we do have a bit of wind, it's, the wind is slightly cold, it is overcast, and um, I was thinking about yesterday, um, that today I was gonna, like, film outside, um, but you know, it's windy, and I have balconies and I would rather like to be out in nature but there are other people outside and I don't want to be filming anything where other people can hear me. <laughs> if I don't have my own enclosed space where I can kind of like ignore that other people like exist, um, I don't want to. Maybe in the future when I have my own like home my own actual place that's um that's definitely a possibility but we'll see um so i'm filming inside because it's it's a bit windy and it's uh, yeah but you know yesterday it was somewhere between plus 20 25 it was completely clear blue skies with the sun overhead, not glaring, like, so, you know how sometimes she just like, kind of like cuts into you, she didn't yesterday. She was really, really nice, like, full out, but like, not hurting. Um, and it was windy as well, but it was westerly wind, so I li live in the eastern fjords, which means that um, when the winds are easterly, they come from the sea, and um, that generally means cold winds so you can have like a really nice summery day but you get the um how about in the um ocean winds and the day just turns cold but we had western winds and yes it was windy but when the wind comes from the west in the summer team that means that means warm so yesterday i go out in balconies it is sunny it is windy but it's warm and I could go outside just wearing a nice little dress with like a spaghetti straps, you know, just really simple and open. I'm like, I I didn't know how what how how to react, so I went back inside. <laughs> the weather was so nice. It was so nice going outside. I didn't know what to do, so I went back to the shelter of my of my home. It was too nice. I'm just like, hmm, all right. Complaining about it being cold, like, what was it, two or three weeks ago? And now I'm like, it was so ni nice outside. I had to go back inside because I didn't know what to do. <sighs> Life is silly. But yeah, so, um, also when you have, like, skin this pale, like, genuinely, when... When, when you can trace your veins from the tip of your finger up your arm and just over um, 
it's it's a really bad idea to be outside in like full out sun just with no preparation like it's a really really bad idea and um, I am way too pale to be outside for like for long like even when it's overcast like now it's I have to be careful because I might burn really easily so I have no interest in that like my skin deserves better than to be burnt so but still it's so nice it's so warm I can wear dresses now like this is so nice so um, actually speaking of this dress where is it I thought I was prepared but turns out I wasn't um so I yeah, have excuse you So I got this dress a little while ago and I absolutely love it because eh, something like that because you know it's it's this nice color I love these leaves too I can do like that and it is long, it is oversized it's got these cute little pink flowers which I absolutely love. So I have this like cobweb shawl that I made was it this winter? I can't remember. But it has these it is these absolutely gorgeous, nice soft colors that I kind of feel goes with this dress. I'm so soft in each. And I also have this Nette shawl that I made with the James C. Brett Northern Lights cake. I still don't remember the name. Probably because the first cake was a nightmare to work with. That's probably the only reason why I remember what the yarn is called. But anyway, so I made this crochet Nette shawl. And it's these gorgeous, lovely pink colors. It's a little bit too warm to be wearing a shawl, but still, it's warm inside. Like, it's windy outside, so it might be. <laughs> but like, I feel it goes so well with this dress. Oh, I'm so happy. But I've also been thinking, like, I have... I'm looking at the yarn. I should have been more prepared, but like, I start talking and I start thinking about other things. But like... There's also this yarn that I got from Hobby, I think. I think these are from Hobby. Yep. It's from Hobby. So I have these two Mega Balls. Um, I think this is just acrylic, yeah? Yeah. So I have two of these. These are the We Heart Yarn Mega Ball from Hobby. I'll try and find if they still have it available. I love the color. It's just a soft, nice pink color. Which, again, I feel would go with this dress. And what I've been thinking, particularly today, is... Because this is such a nice, long dress. Like, a long... Either knitted or crocheted, like, open west type of thing. Might go well with it. Like, there's something you can throw on and just pair with this dress, so... Uh, I might do that... But I don't know... <laughs> like, hmm, you know how, how with, the, with the name of this podcast is Project Pal? I just keep adding to it, like... I bought this dress and I'm like, well, I want to pair it with this, but I don't have it. But I have the yarn and I have a vague idea, but I'm also, like, working on other things. And... Slow and steady. It's so slow and steady. But I am over halfway done with the first panel of the oversized jump. Look at the colors! I love them. It is... It's color so pretty. Oh yeah, I am over halfway done with the first panel. I'm gonna make two of these just... Probably gonna make it for 57 centimeters because that's like the general size of, you know, 
jumpers and the low that's um that's a length that fits me quite well. So and just this yarn is so nice to work with. It's the yet again got it from Ice Yarn. The um Angora design and pastel colors yet again. I'm still I'm, I'm going to link this yarn yet again in the description box. It hasn't been available for months. I really, really hope they get it back because this yarn is so, it's so pretty. It's nice. Like it has the fluff. It has. Can I show you on this? Um, somewhat. You know, it has that that nice fluff of the yarn. Um, so far I haven't had to like frog anything because this is such a simple, simple, easy design, and I have so far not made a mistake. I made discoveries. Um, like how to make a straight knit with, you know, because, um, um, I managed to make like twisted stitches based purely on how I enter the stitch and make them. And I finally figured out how to make a pretty straight stitch when we're working back and forth. So, okay. Look, look. I am insanely proud of what I managed to do. Like, it's a little bit, but it's still, I'm still happy with. So, also the colors, I love them. But yeah, it has this like lovely, lovely fuss, but it hasn't hampered. Like, it hasn't been an obstacle, you know, working with this yarn. Like with some yarns, um, they are so lovely and so nice and so soft, but the like the fussiness, the fibers, they kind of like, at least with mm, with me. But I might just be a klutz, um, clumsy. But like sometimes the hairs just get in the way, and it makes it a little bit like difficult to work with them. Not this, not this yarn. So that gets extra fine for me because it has been really, really easy to work with. Um, I'm like pretty certain that this should, you know, this is gonna be enough for my version of this, like making up as I go pullover. Um, it's probably gonna be like, you know, one ball for the front, one ball for the back, and still I don't know how I'm gonna do these sleeves. Like, do I want them ballooning? Do I want them like, like what kind of what kind of pullover am I actually looking for? Like, I do like having um, longer sleeves. You know, like like with this dress, like I do prefer having the option of like having this like longer sleeves so that I can simply just pull up if I feel like it. Um, definitely on my jumpers because I do tend to pull my sleeves up and then just fold them back down. But sometimes you just want to pull the sleeves down and hide your hands. So, still gonna figure that one out. And that's the only thing I've been working on <laughs> for the past week. And listen, I'm a little bit stressed about, like, not stressed, but not quite looking forward for the next week. I'm um, work related because we're actually gonna be down three people. And there's a new person starting. Like, this has been. June has been really, really interesting. Um, so one person was supposed to be working until the end of July, but her last working day was yesterday. She's moving to Reykjavik, and um, there have been a slight issues with um, obviously that because she had promised to work until the end of July. But I can completely understand why she feels the need to leave earlier um, and it's family related like she's, she's just done with her family <laughs> so I can understand like it's a it's a meh for me like I it's not my responsibility to hire, hire people but like whatever um, another person who's who is working with us for the first time. She was supposed to be working until like end of August. 
And I don't know if it's because you heard the other person talking about quitting early, but suddenly she's also moving to Reykjavik at the end of this month. I'm like, okay. <laughs> and so another person, I don't know if it's uh, if she's taking summer vacation now or if um, if it's um, like medical related. I don't know. I haven't asked her. But yeah, so <laughs> next week is going to be interesting. Um, also, I'm getting my second va vaccination. I cannot pronounce that word. Just, I cannot. I'm getting my second shot on Wednesday. And hopefully, hopefully I don't get sick again. <laughs> like I'm feeling so much better right now. But I do not have time to get sick again. Okay, buddy, thank you. We done, okay, we done. Um, and of course, I'm the only person I've heard about who's been sick for like a week. Most other people have been like, for like two days and then they're just, they've slept for two days basically. Um, and then just been relatively fine. I'm the only person I know of who was sick for a week. <laughs> Go me! <laughs> but yeah. <sighs> some days, some days. Weeks, or months. <sighs> so weird. It's gonna be July in like this coming week. And I'm like, I haven't finished anything. <laughs> I have not finished any of the projects that I was gonna be so, you know, just finishing in June. I'm like, where does the time go? Um, it it just uh, goes. <sighs> it's funny, but you know, it's always something to do. So yeah, I'm actually, th I actually think I'm going to cut this short. This at this point, I've been. I don't even hit the twenty minutes mark. Eh, interesting, but yeah, hopefully we'll see what's going. You know, next weekend's update is gonna be like, it's like, it's gonna be interesting. Like, will I be absolutely exhausted from work? Will I get sick again? Hopefully not. Um, what's the weather gonna be like? Like, it's been really nice this past week. I really hope it, like, reading the forecast right now, it looks nice. I hope it stays that way. Um, the snow that we got the week before last it's because yeah we got we got snow and we got snow like fairly thick down the mountains and not in town but you know down the mountains most of it is gone it is mostly gone there are like um in like deeper canyons and cracks in the mountains and on the peaks in the higher parts they're like there's snow but that's not unusual for June, so hopefully, hopefully, it's always gonna go away. And hopefully, July and August and September, maybe, will be warm and nice as well. Um, yeah, so we'll see. We'll see how I will be, how I will be next weekend. So yay! Anyway, so thank you for watching this weekend, and I will see you next time. Okay, take care. Bless, bless. I forgot to mention, um, when I was putting the tripod up, I broke my nail. How? How did I manage that? Like, I broke it.